Greetings, this is Sarah Rushlow on behalf of Baker Hunt's Art and Cultural Center here to bring you another fun and exciting art tutorial. Well, let's get started. Today we are drawing some owls using some tinted paper. First thing you are going to need to gather are materials. So some tinted paper. I'm using brown, but you can use a paper bag if you want. Um, also some a white a white colored pencil, some other colors for my colored pencil, a uh, sharpie, and if you'd like, you can also use an eraser and a graphite pencil to outline your work. Second thing we're going to do is we're going to draw our outlines in pencil. So just draw your owl any way you like. I like to use with it, with pencil to start with. I like to draw a little sideways oval two circles for the eye sockets, small circle within that for the eyes, even smaller circle in that for the pupils. A little oval for the nose, and big oval for the body. Now I'm, for the tree branch, I just like to do a quick V, almost like a check mark, and a little curve on the bottom for the bottom of the branch, and for his little tail, I just draw a triangle. Now that I've drawn my rough outline, I'm going to go in with my pen and just go over those lines that I just made with the pencil. It might help in this instance to get some images of owls. You got some really interesting patterns on them. You can add patterns to your owl. After you've done drawing in the bigger lines. Maybe a little half circle for the wing. Better yet, if you can, you've seen an owl, you can draw what you saw. Kind of hard to see owls; they're very shy. They have to come out at night for the most part. Right now that you have drawn those lines, you're going to erase them with your eraser. And you are going to take your white pencil, draw a circle for the moon. Add white, wherever you want white on your own. And you're going to fill in the background. I'm using the light blue. Try to keep your lines going in the same direction. Try to keep your strokes going in the same direction. Notice you don't have to push really hard or fill in the paper entirely with your pencil. Since you have some tinted paper. Now that you have most of your drawing taking shape, go ahead. You can take. I'm taking some yellow ochre, and I'm shading in the tree trunk a little bit. You don't have to shade it in all the way. You can add as much detail or as little detail as you want. You're the artist. And I'm going to go over my feathers. Now 
and white just goes in ahead and still shines through. That dark brown is divided by the paper. Now for some details and little white dots for some stars. Some yellow for his eyes. I'm gonna go back in and give him some darker pupils, some dark pupils. That's it for now. If you're if you've enjoyed this video and would like to have some more art in your life, go ahead and check out Baker Hunt's website at bakerhunt.org. I have some ongoing classes there. One is called Runway Ready Fashion, and the other is called Palettes of Paint. Check them both out. This has been Sarah Rushlow on behalf of Baker Hunt's Art and Cultural Center. Here to tell you to stay safe, stay creative, and I'll see you next time.